Hello guys, it's Son of Beast here. Today's matchup is about to be happening here for the next one on NHL on EA Sports. The next matchup is the San Jose Sharks and they are playing against the Vancouver Canucks in British Columbia. As they uh, are a tremendous players here at this game that they are turning to be another USA vs Canada team of the matchup. This really could be a tough one to be sharing. What is the better um, status ability? Well, a lot of Canadian teams could try to like take advantage over it and then try to like keep it up with the range. As of right now, the USA team is definitely having a lot of higher responses. They're definitely really that good. A lot of higher overrating status ability could determine what could this happen next. Anyway. As we are stepping in right now, let's have a look at the starting player of the lineup. For San Jose Sharks, it's Tomas Hurdle and Timo Miro. No other players have the uh, superstar uh, players. And on the other side, we only have one. JT Miller, Elias Peterson, and Quinn Coos. Not Jack Coos, really, but you'll see him later for the next part of the game. But as you know, for JT Miller, he has no contest. That's for Ely Puck battling. But he has definitely got a lot of great skills out there. No contest to try to go around him or try to take advantage of it and try to knock it out of here like they can. So it's now time to send you over to Vancouver at Rogers Arena, where OJ, where, yeah, OJ and not OJ. Silver Spoon, I should call it. Anyway, Silver Spoon and Paintbrush. I will be on the center ice here in the in the between the glass booth. I'll see you all later here for the post game show. Paintbrush, it's all yours. Enjoy your game, fellas. It's O Canada of the team. Rogers Arena is bringing in here. We got the Canucks and the Sharks at Rogers Arena. It is great to be here with you here in British Columbia as we got the game started. The Canucks start as they are underway here at Rogers Arena. The Colonel lineups is moving as follows. We have Ms. JT Miller. And across from here is we have another player, is Garland. Across from here is Horvath. Back to the other angle, we have his Myers. And then we have his Ekman Larson. On the shark side, they have some a little deep advantage here to take it over. As you may have heard of it, there's some a lot of it. There is a Snetch Chuchetsov, Snetchikov, up to Meyer. Then across from here in the other hand is Tomas Hoop, is, uh, is the other player we call Hoops. Now, Hughes is not the really one that we are going for, but this is really the tough to try to help him out and take the pass from here above. Hoso is the starting goalie for the for the Vancouver Canucks. On the other side is Raymier, and he has got the first savior of the night. Interesting enough though, Vakumo, Hoso has gotten some really well saves out there. Try to believe that he can definitely try to like take him over, and across some areas, his sir may have some a lot of a, a off angle on the on his way on ability run. They might be looking for an R way that they could try to make a pass. Out of it, might be harder than it gets. Great stop by Hoster. San Jose is back at the upper end as they're on our offense now. Carlson, weak on the board. What a play by Peterson. That's a great move on defense. What a shot. Scores! That's Kuzmenko. Get this first goal. The Canucks are on the board. That's a great play out there. That's what you always have to do. Peterson with the assist. Plays on offense are doing really well. That's what you have really done with a great ability run. They got a good stack run to make this snow setup. The Can Canucks have made a one nothing lead over the Sharks. Now to talk about the Canucks, they're not really the only players that they were never seeing it before since they played Anaheim last couple of these seasons before they transferred off to Vancouver. How does it really take it over here for this one here, Silver Spoon? Well, I gotta say right now, this might be a tough one to make an ability. As we all definitely noticed here, they played here at Atlanta at one time here, the recent many years ago. Over the decades, however, 
they decide that they have made a transfer off to Vancouver to show the Canadian pride right from the head and then go right back to it. So they decided to move it up here and go back where they have played. I'm hoping there's never another way that we can bring the team here back to another one for Canadian Rivals. Open the netting, that stop by here, sir, and we got a stop whistle in play. Both, both players are sliding up here into the center ice. ice. A 1 0 lead has been covered up by Vancouver. Betting this off to Kune. The Sharks are on the other side of a transition. Take a big hit up here to close the gap. I'm in the shame. Now over to Ho Jo Josu. Paul goes in, he just got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Bryce Boys. Schneid, back over to Bryce Boys. Moving the middle! Club saved by Ramirez. That'll be the number save here for tonight. Stop the clock in under 15 minutes. Both players are still set, they're right about to take the fast puck face off. And the winning goes up with Benning with recover after the face off win. Lawrence has got the puck here in the neutral zone. Now over to Gadrovich. With the block. The connects are back in the offensive zone. Chai with it now. Moves over to Pearson. They got two and no numbers here. Oh, the pass is broken up. Lyberts in the corner. LeBanc in the corner. Gajovic inside. That shot is wide. Wide traffic, so now they really want the same thing. They need to do something a little bit different. Drives with it now. Mission off to Emphasar Larson. Oh, he just couldn't make a rebound in there. 3 on 1. Over to Benning. Shoots at 1. Pinch save here by Gusso. Gusso really got a great uh, eye look of it. He's very easy. That's, that's why you call it a better player on defense. So make a save. Miss fires, and this one goes back the other way. Sharks grab the puck here in a central on the zone. Out one in front. Pearson has got the puck here, passing the neutral zone. Moving over to Horvath. Shoots wide. That tipped wide out of the range. Shuts the cob. Swings over to Hurdle. And Garland will have to regroup the puck here to play on offense. Always got to make a move out there because if you're not sure what you're going to do, you got to stay back. Deflect a puck up and over the wall. Back to Garland. He moves inside. Swings over the ball boost. Back in shot. What a deflected by Rummeyer. Mirror open for now. Swings over to Ferrara. And a great stick clipped here by, by Gumbel. Myers still has one. Ducek call inside. Saved by Demko. Demko has got us his first and another rebound. And he'll hold the puck from here. Always got to do that one right. When you sure you're going to keep it on, that's what you really got to do. Price boys. And Demko didn't see where it was going. Top calls that angle. Shoots one wide. Hokosin's got the puck here. Back to offense on the connect zone. Shoots it in. That is tipped wide and it's out of play. Carlson holding the battle along the board. Moves over to Shine. Now swings over to Ahmed. They gain the attack right here in the corner. He looks over to Paul Kowski. Kick the puck away. Canucks are in offense, still in danger. Joseph's up. Take the rebound. Oh, what a play here by the goaltender over here. That was going to be a lot of play in rebound there because that was really tipping up there too short. Out of angles can be a lot harder than you think. Pedersen holding the puck here around the board. Moves around. Wrist one. That's blocked up in front. 
Canucks and defense. And still holds on. Yeah, he goes over to Mikheyev. Mikheyev has the puck. Swing in the middle. That is taken away by Magna. Almost went tipped away here, but it still holds it tight for the Canucks. Shoots one in. Stop the big save. Sturm's got it here in the offense zone. Kuden moving into the center to the neutral zone. Carlson moving in. Needle up. That's stopped again by Dunko. Noonan up. Ferraro outside. That's stopped by Dunko. That's a good way to keep the saves out there. In trouble attackers can be a lot harder. Puck taken away by Ferraro. Limbo. Still back out in offense. Storm gets knocked out by a defender by Burroughs. Canucks on the move. With the two and one. Oh, big save here, and the goaltender comes in to try to rebound it again. Right along in front. Nice step away here, and with the heavy traffic, Kunis got the puck. We pass under five three to go. It's still one nothing, Vancouver. Garland, great pass deep. Whoa, what a big bound. Horvath has it. Shoots one. Scores. Horvath has his first goal. Extended 2 0. Horvath really saved it all because the man was down there and Garland couldn't be able to get up. Excellent movie by Horvath. He really appreciates that he just got a phenomenon with the goal. Canucks are into the offense. They pick up 2 0 over the Sharks' goal without being attacked. That's saved it off here. Ferraro has the puck. Now kicks over to Hurl. Up the speed for Kuchikov. Drys got the puck here, moving back the other end. Kicks the puck to clear it out. The play continues. Ferraro's got the puck here for Hand in San Jose to keep it back on the other end. Myers has it. Vancouver in transition. Bad pass here. Pearson holds on. Meyer has it now. Now to Ushetchikov. Swings over the hurdle. Moving to front. A great stop here by MK Larson. Larson was really looking a tremendous run here this game. Might be showing him what he can definitely do and try to keep him alive. Some X up to the Lebanks. Hurdle right with it now. Swings the puck up and around the board. Oh, the missed feed here. The Sharks are back in offense to regroup their position. Good, good block here for, for another good call. Bryce Myers with the puck. Up of the board of Myers. He moves back to Bryce Boys. And it's taken away. One on one. The rest of the banks. And a misconnection feed with the stick clipped. Sending it back with no goals in the play. Really got to handle it off there. Puck makes the save by Demko. Joshua has got here with the puck in transition. Myers' connection feed is misconnected. The Sharks are back in offense. Lorenzo in the middle. Stopped by Demko. We have one minute to play here in the first period, a 2 nothing lead for the Can Canucks. Edison flies the puck here in offense zone. Move along the way. Kicks the puck on the board to Paul's skin. Benny had the puck here in transition. Back over to Barapongo. Up in the middle. Stopped by Bremsons. Moving around the board, Magna in front, shoots, saved by Demko. Demko is really going to take it all that he has. And that's a two for the first period. The Canucks are into a good transition to start their quarter, and they got two more left when we come back.
period number two, about to begin. It's two nothing as we're back on ice. And we are back here. Let's get the second period started. With some tough goals in between, it's a lot of heavy matches. Sometimes the Sharks can definitely try to take over from the Canadian team. Sometimes the USA teams get, get knocked out by the Canadian team. Actually, they do. Because we remember the last time earlier that the Rangers did beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in the third game. I know this sometimes because there's a lot of great passing opportunity range. They have a lot of them to get over. Penalty coming up here for the Hans San Jose as they will get the Vancouver power play. That'll be Tomas Heck with the slash call. That one play is taking a lot of ability. Slashed it, not a well play. The Canucks are in for the power play for the first time for tonight. And the Sharks gets it back the other way. Lastic in control. Pearson trying to stop the puck. Looks over the puck as save! Oh man, that was tough! But he still had a good run. That's gonna really be tough when you can't you like get lifted out of here. You gotta like try to get over with the offense and make another pass. Back into play, Mikhaev looking over Pearson. Back to Garland. Now swings to Rathbone. Rathbone in transition. Look in front, Garland! Stone glove save by Ramir. That's Ramir with another saving look ability. Stopping the clock at 18.02. Both players are set here. They're about to take the face-off drop. And the waiting takes a continue. Benny in the corner finds Nito. Rathbone takes it back. Pearson answers the neutral zone to the offense zone. Pearson, look over to Rathbone. Shoots! Saved by Ramiro. That will stop the player. 17.35 to go. The tougher ability for JT Miller. He's got a no contest ability that he can take it over. He can try to stop the player and take him over right around the end. With JT Miller, he also has an option to try to stop the defenseman run and go right back where he has. I'll be keeping an eye on JT Miller in between the game. Back to you guys. In transition right now, 13 seconds, the power play is almost about to expire. He's almost ready to go for Hurdle. Finds the puck. And Cooper Canucks are off in a transition and the power play is over. Great plays in between you. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, working ability run. They still got to get it over there and make it count. Ability to try to hand off their scores. They're tough now to be releasing their only stack of their run to try to hit the deck. Sharks back at offense zone. Kuzmenko unable to find an open man advantage. Hayden Shane has the puck. Moving along the outside. Two on one. Almost made it, but it hits the goal post. Oh, wow. Very tough one to go right in between. And this would have been a tough one. He would have almost had it in there, but that was too close to call. Puck clears out. And the icing is the call on Vancouver as we got the stop, whistle, and play. Players are ready to take their inbound. So we got 2 0 Vancouver Canucks. The win as Mendel have releases. Myers able to stop the move here on the offense run. They are really stacking it up ability. They gotta go right to heavy to heavy, quick to quick, baby. Dixus Cobb in the middle. In the outside, back the other way, Carlson up. That's the foot there. Stop by Dunko. I don't know big save. That's what Paul Kids stands. Still getting the puck back in transition. Atkins is connected and Carlson takes it away. Erno back pass. Mirror. Save by Dunko. Dunko is really into the better move out there. They got a lot of heavy runner. Move around in front. Myers trying to hold on their feet. Back to Amen. 
And it's Lorenz takes it away. Back over to Mir. In the middle, Mir. Save me by Demko. And we got a whistle inbound. They will stop the run with just 13.05 to go. And with the top players inbounding, it's still 2 nothing. Canucks. Then Semak has them. Back around again as Burroughs takes it over. Vancouver back in offense zone. Oh, misfires, and that will be Drys to try to regroup the puck. Peterson is back outside. Gajovic has got the puck. Now back to Lorenz. Move along outside. Gajovic up. Stopping again by Demko. What a save made. And the back in offensive zone is Hoglander. Move around the middle. Shoots. Saved by Revere. Getting away, and Burroughs still has it up. Back to Dreis. Dreis with it now. Shot's been blocked. That goes into traffic. That's been a play on defense. They still need to get it back. Rathbone with the buck. Swings to Dreis. Back over to Burroughs. Burroughs unable to commit the feed here. 2 on one And don't have a much ability to go back as it cuts clears. Dreis going to take it. Big save by Ramirez. Back to Breeze Boys. Breeze Boys shot. That is stepped out on the other goal tender save. Shen back with it now. And it's Samek takes it away. The Sharks are back into the offense zone in their territory. Stats stopped again by Demko. Garland moving in front. Goes down to the end of. Past the mid-period left, it's still a 2-0 score. Shen with the puck, now finds Kometsko. Puck regroups as the Canucks are trying to make a different appearance in offense. And offside is the carry by Garland. They will have to take the neutral face-off zone in the center. Both players are gliding up here in the neutral zone. And a win here, back again for the Sharks. He slides over to Stern. Stern in the corner, Liberal, saved again. Oh, another big save, that's two times in a row. Canucks are back in offensive zone. Looking for a man in the middle. Shoots, scores! Patterson, down to lower goal, extend 3-0. That Patterson better be looking for a big trouble out there because they got a lot of percentage. Quick to make a good move with the puck on the string for Patterson. He releases. Try to pick up a move here with the string, and he now has one in. I got a good eye on here. Patterson is really well to take the puck on string ability. As for him, guys, he's really well carried. Canucks up into the offense zone with a 3 nothing lead. They are on a good timing ability, a better run. The performance is naturally the easier one. They got to get the same over with. Great save made by Demko. Nita over to Magna. Move along the front. That's up to get by Demko. Puck clears out. Magna has the puck here for the Sharks offense zone. They go along for the attack on corner. Moving along inside. Demko, great save. And that one's almost going to be tipped up too short. Great pressure. Got to hold on the rail. Both players are in the offensive zone. And for a faceoff to be dropped. Another big save here. Stop him. Good for a look for Demko. Pakoskins is in the puck in the corner. Trying to hold on big, Ahmed has it. Finds Pogoskin, now swings to Myers. Move along, it's MK Larson. Shoots wide, that is stopped again by Ramirez. The Sharks are back in offense zone. Pogoskin's got the puck after a loose puck. Looking in the middle. Zuchikov's got the puck in the corner. That great big poke check here. Joshua lifts it up here on the board. Oh, big 
big smack. Horvath still holds on. That pet, you really got to know. He really got to tell what it is about. Penalty coming up for the Sharks. That will be on a slash call. Mir is in the penalty box. That's what you don't want to do. You don't want to try to mess up with the defenders. He was almost going to have it, but he didn't seem to stop the fight. The power play coming up here for Vancouver. They still have an O advantage. Ferraro with the puck. Swings to Stern. It could be shorthanded. Finds Lorenz. Blocked up by Emkin Larson. A great stop here on defensive here for the, for the Canucks. Trying to make it big here. They need someone to go right from between. Looks over Miller. Oh, a big glove save by Ramir. And we'll hold the puck here with just 5.23 to go. Players are set here for the faceoff. It's a 3-0 game for the Vancouver Canucks. Pearson wins the faceoff. Matura! That stopped by Ramirez. Great open look out there. He was on a quick move. Players are set here, ready for another face-off attack run. And the face-off carries the other way. Plastic with the puck. Move along the middle. He scoots it up to try to try to run down the play clock. Sturm has the puck. Kicks it over to Lorenz. Looking back, it's Ferraro. Glove saved by Demko. Almost would have been rejected out of here, but still holding on tight. 35 seconds for the Vancouver power play. Looks over every looking. That's blocked up in front. They can't lift it up. They gotta find somebody else. Power play is running down. To Stern. Ready to go right now. He's coming out right at the side. Pearson clears the puck and the power play is over for the for the Canucks. A bigger play, a bigger moment. They are in a tough spot. With another releasement, they got a hit on the deck. After the icing is called, now they got another faceoff coming. Sharks with another win. That's saved off by Demko. Mikhaev has the puck. Try to hold up with the clear away. Velastic up to Benny. The Sharks are in transition. With a two! Demko save! Back to Mikhaev. Vancouver back in the other end. Trying to look for a deeper. With the shot. Scores! That's Mikhaev with the goal. They are easy run. The wrist shot is just better and better. They are definitely on a wacky run. Excellent move by Mikhaev. Had a wrist shot that one. Really picked it up here on a better timing ability to keep the run in play. The Canucks are extending their lead run of 4 0 score. They are still on a good streak. They're just trying to keep this thing up and they want to go for it again. Sharks goes back with the win. Hurdle inside the middle. Off to Shetsukov. Magna front. Take it up here by, by Demko. Scores! And the shutout score has been closed out. That turns over to be a 4 1 lead. Tomas Hurdle really has to stand it out here with the defensive rebound. He overstacks his goal. He was trying to make his moment ability to try to stop the run and go back to offense. And with that one, Hurdle is lifting big here tonight. We'll have to see what he can definitely do to try to stick it up. Back to you guys. Carlson over to Hurdle. Meyer up in front. Carlson shot. That tips wide and it goes back the other way. Garland holding the puck here along the board. Miller has the puck. Move in front. Stopped by Ramirez. Oh boy, it looks like JT Miller was going to sliver it in, but he still holds on for the goalie. Lifting big and strong, they really got to need to make their way run to try to stop their attack. Vancouver back the offensive win. 
Wrap bone back over to Pearson. Wrap bone over to Burroughs. And Nito takes it over. Drives his back on offense to take their zone. Pass the board. No connection feed. Last minute of the play in the second period. That's a 4-1 game. Drives with a putt. That is nothing to go with the shot, and it takes it over by Barbanov. Barbanov stopped by Stemko. Hoglander has the puck here, and back to Pearson. Canucks back in offensive zone. And it's tipped badly, as Neto has this puck. In the corner, swings to Barbanov. Stop the puck. No, it went back in. They took it away. And Highlander should have had that puck taken out. Well, that really saved it up a bit. That was a little mistake here to try to put it back in the offense zone. Patterson couldn't really try to save it off, but he was lifted too soon. So that ends two periods. We got a last period coming up. It'll be right after this break. It has been a tremendous game here since we saw two goals of the Canucks and just a couple goals for the Sharks, but now it's the third period. Well, it's been a great game here since we've seen a lot of great opportunity range in between for the Canucks and the Sharks. A battle of the fishes. Which one's your favorite part of the fish or silver spoon? I gotta say, it looks like the whales are definitely like killer whales. I think the Canucks are definitely a very good team. They're really well into the play here, and I definitely would say the Canucks are very uh, in, in perfect condition out there. Just amazing how they really like to do that when you're a battle of fishes. I also have to say that the Sharks are really well to play at that point. They are definitely one of the tougher teams. They made it to the playoffs here since 2018 and 19. But somehow, however, they were really off the topic out there and not the Royal team that they were always looking for a comeback victory win. They were a tougher team that they really know about it for, for sure. I definitely do. So far, however, we can definitely try to keep it going. Vancouver in struggle, facing the attack. Here's Magna as the puck is delivered. Now finds Carlson. Over to the hurdle. Use the quick over Shetsukov. He moves inside. That saves it off here by Patterson. He crosses over to Mikheyev. Mikheyev moves in front. Shoots one. That gets blocked in traffic and it goes back the other way. The Sharks are back in offensive zone, taking their own time. Patterson moves inside offense zone. Looks in the middle. Saved off by Ramiro. That stops the puck here with just only 17.06 to go in the third period. We haven't hit the midway period yet. Right now, the Vancouver Canucks have only had a lead 4-2 over it again. And they make another win. Rapoon. That stopped by Neto. Oh, Burroughs took it back. What a play. Okolskin right over to Rapoon. With the one-time shot. That is not enough, and that will be Benning to take it over. Sharks in the head. Shoots. Saved off by Dunko. Abano. Stopped up by Dunko. Dunko is really lifting it up strong. Looking really well and comfortable. Ahmed just delivers the puck, fires it from the board. Ahmed unable to find a look at open man advantage. San Jose back on offense. Barbanov inside. Stopped again by Demko. Now he swings to Horford. Horford along the outside, taking ability. Swings over to Rappo. Chaucer inside. And that glove save comes up by Ramirez. He's really not going to try to lift it on strong. But it really does happen to me that Ramirez is lifting his own time to take his own words. He's lifting it again. Horvath wins the faceoff. Off to Garland. 
Swings back to Horvat. Garland. Backhander. That's stopped up by the goaltender. Freeze Brown back to Schneid. And Lindgren's all alone. All the rush. Oh, he just hold on. No barely on Vancouver. This holds on tight. They do. They were really like going to try to like keep it going. They thought it was going to be a power play going up here for the Sharks. But however, they were really seeming in They've never seen it again. Wow, dead stop by Demkos. What a play. Passive, aggressive. He gets the puck here and hold the puck. Players in this period, a lot of shots in the game was 32 and 33. A little bit of in between a range out there might be finding out somewhere else. They have to step in that time. They got a lot of it to keep in control. Pearson inside. And the pass broken up as Coonan takes it over. Coonan's got it now into the neutral zone, now in the Sharks offense zone. Lucid one bone. That stopped again. Demko's. Oh, didn't want to take a risk of it. The players are up in the set. Still not back down to the midway period yet. Dallas is up here to toss and re clock resumes. Hoglander outside. Moving in front with the army rush. Saved by Ramirez. Ramirez is looking at strong. He's really got eye attention out there. Oh, no man find him opener. Hoglander has it back. Flings the puck right to Kuzmenko. Now back to Myers. Looked over to Eggman Larson. Almost lost the puck but holds on tight. Pedersen up. That is blocked and rejected a pass. Magna, hurdle back the other way. Myers still trying to look for it. All in to Ekman Larson. Moves it quickly over to Patterson. Sharks on defense. Oh, big a play, trying to bite the Ducks. They are so hard. The working in between is definitely not the one they are looking for, but they really seem to do the trick. Ahmed's got it now. Joshua with the puck. Hurdle takes it over. New man advantage here for the Canucks. He looks over to Setsukov. Podkotskin's got the puck on the board. They're burning a big. And a delay penalty is on the Vancouver Canucks. And we got a power play coming up for the Sharks. That's what you don't want him to do because Pogoski got it called. They were easy out there. Tried to get it over and they had a man advantage. But they didn't have it all. The Sharks are in for the first time to start the power play. After two periods shut down, they're ready for it. What a play, Mikhaev. And he clears the puck down the other end. That's a bit of save out there, because that's what you wanted to do here on defense. Try to stick your man opponent. One blow out in the corner. Look the pass. Oh, just couldn't find a man opener. Miller lifts it across the other way. Now holds on to LeBanc. Sherman has the puck here, moving back inside. Moving front. Oh, Demko just holds on tight. What a play here. Officials are getting ready to set to drop the puck. They win the faceoff. Look around the man. That is deflected off the player. What a play by Emma Larkins. Patterson clears the puck down the other end. Myers holds it on. Looks over to Horvath. In the middle! That pass is broken up. Aronov has the puck. Looking over. Blocked up again. That play is going to be turning down low. Ramirez has it. 
claims the puck aboard. Horva has it. Time is almost up. Patterson has the puck. Shoots! Oh, just couldn't have it off. The power play for the Sharks comes to an end. A great play for the defensive plays. That's really clean. They really got a good one to give it a strength ability. And that run, they really seem to come. JT Miller finding it looking open. Shoot one. That is the flick it and it's way right into heavy traffic. Whoa, take a little bit out of it. The Sharks are back on offense. Scores! Down by one! Tomas Hurdle! Two goals in the game! They're coming back down very fast. Tomas Hurdle was really trying to lift the strength. He was fixing big out there. Their team's not going to quit here. They're going to start thinking about it. With that being said, alone, they are on the head. They got a big hit set of the attackers, and they knew that they could try to stick it up. We'll see if Tomas Hurdle can tie the game up. Back to you guys. Big on the body of the corner. Chantikov, saved off by Demko. Vancouver back on the other side. Garland with the puck. Burrows, pass over to Ratbone. One-timer, blocked up in front. Great stop by the Deshaun defenseman. And we just passed the midway period already. Drive sticks it away with the turnover. Moving in the corner. Waits. Looks in. Scores. Pearson. That's a goal. They have cut down. Back up in the lead to get away. That play was tremendous of Drive. And Pearson has around a goalie. That really stands it up, and he lifts it strong. Canucks are a tougher team to make the advancement. They have now got a 5-3 lead over San Jose. Tries wins the faceoff. Hoaglander try to clear the puck, but it's stopped by Elastic. Oh, turnover! Oh, he would have had that one. That was a close call. He would have made that one. Two goals in this game. Two free goals, actually, man. Now finds Dries. Back to Pearson. Looks up at the shine. Rice goes. So has it. That's stopped by Ramirez. Stern has the puck in control. Sharks are on offense now. In the corner. Great loose puck here by Hoglander. Now Peterson has the puck. Move along the middle. In the corner, looking for another one. Stopped again. That's blocked up in front. They really seem to keep it over it right from the, in between the lane. That really clogs out. And it's expert saved here by Stamco. Here's along the middle. That's from here with the save. And it'll stop the puck with just 3 12 left to go. Players are set for the face off. 5 3 is where we left off before. Sharks go back to offense. Carlson has the puck. We're just playing about 3 minutes to go in the third period. McKay clears the puck down the other end. Patterson still got it. Kamenko, May! Oh, backhand just went up! And a save beat comes up for Vermeer. Now Meyer back again. Meyer up in the center. That is to flick that. Ratbones looking for another way to go right back to offense. Two minutes left to play. Rebound comes in by Kutzmenko. Backhand! Stopped again by Ramir. Burra back to Rathbone. You're going to need to regroup here to try to get it along. Barbanov in the long. Great poke check. Back the other way is Kuzmenko. 2 1. Deflected off. Joshua still up again. With just the final minute to play in the third period, they still got a lot of strong ability to keep it going. They always do. Just enough to get over it. The man advantage is on for the Sharks. 
shoots! Stopped by Demko, what a play! Oh man, the fans love Demko. They really got a heavy hit. Plays in this one, comes down on the wire. Still looking for a man advantage to keep it going. No face-off win. Stopped up by Demko. Holding out. That stopped there. Ah, oh, man's got it now. Joshua in a pursuit. Left it out. He was literally bound and he was down again. He's really tough. Really starting to feel out a bit. Saved by Demko's. Myers, Horvath, and the puck alone. Going for the empty netter. Shoots one. Went wide. And Shen, and that does it. Shen delivers a win. And with the game, the Canucks are in pursuit to make the force win. I got a strong feeling about that one. This looks like a hard play for our dumb coach. He was lifting it strong. With the save in this game, he was lifting it out of here. And what a play for the Canucks team. They finally deserve a win. Stopped by Demko's. And that, my friend, the game is over. Vancouver Canucks wins the game over the Sharks. A 5-3 final score. That play definitely turned out to be tremendous run. Thanks to JT Miller and the team, they really done the best. We all salute to the fans out there. This has been a tremendous game. Thanks to all the Canadian team of the Canucks. We look forward to them soon as possible if they make their way to the playoff spot. They definitely do. They gotta lift it up. They're strong. They gotta go with a mighty hit. Well, that should do it here, my friends. Paintbrush, along with Silver Spoon and Son of Beast. This has been your presentation of the NHL on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you all for the next game. Now the closing's up. We go to Son of Beast for the post-game show. Good night, everyone. Thank you very much there, Paintbrush. A 6-3 score, Canucks win. Let's go to three-star players of the game as we start with number three. Number three we have is Ian Mikheyev with a goal and a hit. He really took a lot of big, strong ability. He definitely did have it all when he take. The second star goes to Elias Pedersen with a goal, assist, and hit. That's a puck on a string to release that one. A bigger moment. And with the first star, it goes out to Luke Schnen. One goal. And one assist. Great play in the game making. That's what you know that Shen has a release. With a game win and open net. So, as for being said, thank you so much for tuning in for this game. A tough shot here on the goal that was 43 to 40 of total shots. Then a hit was a shot smackdown. But Canucks didn't have enough to make a momentum to try to take it all. He only had seven. And the power play was four minutes for the Vancouver with no goals. Penalty was four minutes for San Jose Sharks. Then it was just no power plays in between from one and two power play goals. Nothing to condemn. And with a lot of passing aggressiveness, the time on attack was 12 and 6. 12.06 for Vancouver and 5 out of 16. 5.16 for San Jose Sharks. 91 percentage for the passing was definitely on a remarkable run. 77% could have been a little, little bit more more uh, better, could have been more higher, but they had their own chance, they just wanted to do it. Anyway, as you know, this game was a tremendous one to give this wing a wor good, worthy credit score for the Canucks. Now, if you stay tuned, well, we'll get you back with that one with the Senators and Blackhawks later, but for the next game, we'll try this next one as we have the Blue Jackets facing against the Devils. Yeah, that's what we got a little mixed up here earlier, but now we got it all down in coverage out there to give this thing a, another one to go for a shot. So with that one, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can also uh, follow me on my social medias as much as always on Instagram and TikTok. 
Discord will be releasing soon, so don't worry. I don't know how much I'm going to take, but we'll see how this one turns out. Anyway, peace out everyone for a while as the NHL on EA Sports Style. And we'll see you all for the next game on the setup. The next commentary will be OJ and Paintbrush. And the center of the ice will be me, Phone. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.